Honorable député de Laurier Sainte Marie. Monsieur le Président, six jeunes ont quitté le Québec en janvier pour aller en Syrie. Les policiers croient qu'ils ont joint des groupes djihadistes. Les parents ont tenté de les arrêter sans succès. Et les parents se sentent laissés à eux-mêmes. Pourquoi les conservateurs ne font rien pour aider les parents qui sont préoccupés par la radicalisation de leurs enfants? During this week, during committee filibuster by the NDP, debating upon how many member, uh, witnesses that we should hear from, we actually heard from stories just like this of many Canadians going have gone overseas to engage or uh, join ISIL. Mr. Speaker, there are measures in this bill that will give our national security agencies the ability to intervene, to disrupt terrorist travel. We also have measures in this bill that will change the passenger protect uh, program that will allow no board orders to be issued in the very instances just like this member is talking about. Monsieur le Président, on sait que l'éducation permet notamment de prévenir la radicalisation. Or, les conservateurs ne se sont toujours pas engagés à appuyer le partenariat mondial pour l'éducation, plusieurs mois après la conférence de reconstitution qui a eu lieu en juin. Ce partenariat a pourtant fait ses preuves. Alors pourquoi le gouvernement se fait-il tirer l'oreille dans ce dossier? Est-ce que par hasard il attendrait l'occasion de se faire de l'autopublicité plutôt que d'aider maintenant les enfants et les jeunes? The Honorable Parliamentary Secretary for Public Safety. Mr. Speaker, recently we have seen attacks in Copenhagen, in Paris, in Australia, right here in Canada, right here in this Parliament on October 22nd of last year. That is why this government is standing shoulder to shoulder with our, our allies fighting against the global fight against terrorism and why we are conducting airstrikes in Iraq. Mr. Speaker, ISIL is a terrorist scourge. We are degrading what they are uh, trying to do in that region. They've also put Canada on a list of countries to carry out jihadist attacks against. That is why we brought forward C-51, and I am looking forward to hearing from each of those 51. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question was about the GPE. Anyhow, the Minister for International Development has said that Canada's job is to ensure that children are able to keep learning and that no child should be left behind as a result of the ongoing crisis in Iraq. Yet, the pledging conference for the Global Partnership for Education took place over eight months ago and Canada has yet to make a pledge. Are the Conservatives really waiting for an opportunity for a self-serving big press conference rather than helping these kids now? Canada has been uh, deeply committed and deeply committed to ensuring that children get education. We continue to work with our partners globally on these issues and look for ways that we can help. We have been one of the largest contributors to helping in Iraq to make sure that the children there are being taken care of in Syria as well. And we look at the great success that we've had in Afghanistan with getting the number of girls into schools, millions of girls in school today who were never there before. We are watching with our allies. We will continue to do that, and we will put our money where it gets the best effect. 